Hi everyone. Our word this past two weeks has been understanding and it's taken on different shades of meaning for me in part because of the recent suicides of Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain. It's all too easy to choose judgment instead of understanding in any situation. And in this case, the extreme, what pain, what personal pain they had been dealing with. And perhaps they felt that nobody would understand. I read an article that said that people that commit an act of suicide actually feel that people in life would be better off without them, which is a misunderstanding, certainly, because those that love these people would never agree to that. I think the greatest need for human beings is to be understood, to be heard, to be seen. And sometimes in our own minds, we, we feel like we're the only ones. When we go through our valleys, we think we're the only ones and that makes it such a lonely place. Yet to realize that we all go through valleys. The thing that I've learned about valleys in my 54 years is they're bad, yeah, but they don't last. The cycle of life continues to flow and move on and those dark times actually teach us such great lessons that end up being the very pressure that strengthens our wings so the caterpillar can emerge as a butterfly If anybody out there is feeling that nobody understands, that nobody cares, please know that this world would not be better off without you. There is nobody quite like you. As my friend Cindy Okrepke always says, yes, you have flaws, but you are flawsome. I know someone else coined the phrase, but I always quote my friend Cindy because it makes me smile to think of her. And when I've fallen into judgment instead of understanding, and remember, I'm not just talking about with other people, but with ourselves. When I judge me instead of trying to understand me, all it does is it weighs me down in condemnation. And when I point the finger out and judge other people instead of trying to understand where they're coming from, you know what happens? The universe has a great way of playing a trick on all of us when we do that, because the same thing we judge ends up coming right back on us and we find ourselves in the same situation. Why? I believe so that we can come to understanding instead of judgment. Be careful and beware of ever saying, I would never do that. Well, you know what? You just might find yourself in a situation where you would do that. I'm sending out lots of love and a hope that you know that you are not alone. Even in little things, my friend Anita has always been challenged with technology. And I say always, but I'm going to change that because she is no longer like that. But she realized recently that when she is flummoxed by an app or a download or an upgrade or a wire, part of what makes her upset about it is she thinks she's the only one. And uh, Anita, we all are frustrated with technology. And somehow knowing that we're all in this together makes it a little easier to bear. Ah, that's a great message for all of us. And I am putting the phone number of the suicide hotline here. Should anyone feel like they are in a valley, an unending valley, my words that it is temporary may only go so far. Don't be afraid to reach out for help and get some understanding. So building off of the word understanding, I'm saying a prayer for all of us and asking for the next word that we need to build our lives upon. Holy Spirit, guide my fingers 
And the answer is, I love this. The word is celebration. It is time to get the party hats, party hats out, everyone. Celebrating even small, you know, we can start a diet and, and get on the scale an hour after we start the diet and say, well, I've only lost, I didn't lose anything. Come on, you didn't gain anything. Celebrate even baby steps, small victories. Celebrate the fact that today we are able to breathe and look out our windows and perhaps see beauty. I will quote my friend Anita again, um, because we were on the phone and she lives right on the beach and she was looking at and she's like, wow, there's this terrible storm brewing. And I'm like, ooh, she's like, no, it's beautiful. Finding the beauty in the things we might normally say, ooh, about. Celebrating life. I wrote a, a phrase down on my calendar because I'm really trying to be mindful about choosing my thoughts carefully and only entertaining those thoughts that make me feel good because that's where I know I'm connected to source. So I wrote this down. I will only entertain thoughts that bring me joy. My mind is a playground of joy. When your mind is a playground of joy, anything other than joy isn't allowed to stick around. So I hope for all of us that these next two weeks bring us great reasons to celebrate. You know, it's a time of year when people are graduating. We just recently had Father's Day. There's so many different relationships and events and landmarks to celebrate. Choose to celebrate them all. Don't wait for everything to be perfect to start celebrating. I heard, you heard, I said that you perfectionists out there and I'm looking at myself too. Celebrate every little thing and you'll find that there becomes more things to celebrate. Have a beautiful two weeks.